Well, we're halfway through 2020, and this year thus far should have awakened you to a few things. If not, a very loud wake-up call has been put out there, and hopefully people recognize that what we all have experienced so far is nothing compared to the events to come. There have been some strange things happening, phenomena that people have experienced, and at the time of the experience, they didn't know what to make of it. Things like that, especially small phenomena that only involves you and the event. When people don't understand what just happened, we tend to brush those things off and may even forget about them as time goes on, because it isn't discussed. Sometimes a person can feel alone when experiencing certain phenomena. But I can tell you that there are certain things in this world that are going to be revealed and when they are, there are some things that people are going to look back and remember and they are going to instantly understand what happened to them in the past. One of the things people have always been wanting is UFO disclosure. Let me tell you, one way or another, people will know the truth about what's been going on. Whether it's the governments of the world that tell us or these non-human entities. Hiding things is not going to be an option anymore because very soon people are going to start seeing things and they are going to want answers. And at that point, people are not going to ask nicely. Men's hearts will fail them at just the sight of the things to come. Even with understanding, fear is going to kick in because newness creates anxiety. Experiencing something for the first time creates a little fear. So we are going to take a look at a few things. After all, a little knowledge could help ease the shock. You know, I came across something interesting the other day. It was a book published back in 2017 by Richard Dolan entitled UFOs and Disclosure in the Trump Era. Casey Lloyd published a book last year entitled 2020, the Year of Full UFO and Alien Disclosure. But before I get into a little about these books, I want to present a few things. The issue here is simple. People want to simply know what UFOs are. An official explanation. You know, there are some governments that pretend not to care. They pretend ignorance and act like it's a waste of time and resources to investigate such matters. Then there are governments like ours that classify everything to an extent to which we know for a fact that they have detailed information about what we are dealing with. Let's go slow here. Let's say the UFO phenomena of today started up somewhere around the early 1900s and sightings of UFOs really took off around the mid 40s. Okay. This has happened before. Several times actually. I want you to put this together in your head. The first time this happened, the first time people started seeing things flying around in the sky was around the days of Enoch, right? All the way up until the days of Noah. Then we have the biblical deluge. Along with many, many other strange events, creatures and phenomena leading up to that event. The second time was when? After the deluge, right? The Sumerians and the Anunnaki, Babylon, Egypt. People at that time were seeing things in the sky they were experiencing the same type of phenomena. Then we have the events of the Exodus, which was not an isolated event, by the way. I know most people think that 
the event was isolated, but there is evidence crazy things were happening around the wor whole world at that time, not just Egypt. There was a third time. Does anyone know? That would be around the time of the Roman Empire, up until the time of Christ's crucifixion. Remember, people were seeing things in the sky then. The story of the star that was seen, remember? And look at the timeline, folks. Look at the number of years that have passed between each era of events. It's around a couple thousand years or so, and each time there is an event, the severity of it is different. And I do believe this is partially due to a binary system that passes around us in this time frame, which would mean that we are due for another passing. The issue is we do have a pretty good idea of the severity of this passing, according to biblical prophecy. The Sumerians tried to tell us, but that story was intentionally mistranslated for you all to focus on the Anunnaki. But we heard the fallen angel story before in many texts. The part about Nibiru, that's new. The point of which is to emphasize that there were some major celestial events taking place each time this happened. How many of you believe that a time is going to come very soon where we will be able to see certain planetary bodies without a telescope? I mean, because of the sun, a planet would just look like a second sun during the day. Then the night comes revealing that it's Jupiter. What do you think would happen to the minds of people after witnessing such a thing? Oh, Mama, remember they never gave us an image for that? That long rock is just an artist's rendition. So, what was it? Think about this. When we launch space probes to other planets, depending on how close the planet is, we can determine how long it will take for the probe to reach its destination. Let's just put it this way. If there was an alien planet with intelligent life that wanted to probe the Earth and the closest planets to us, then you would probably only do so if the planet you wanted to probe was close enough. What about this thing people are calling the Black Knight Satellite? I'm telling you, the technology we have today, they had it, and then some. And that is ancient technology put up into the sky by the ancients. The Earth doesn't just capture objects like that into its orbit from outer space and keep it there. Anyways, let me just go over a few things about these two books I came across. Well, not so much the books, but the authors. Richard Dolan actually has his own YouTube channel with tons of information on UFOs, who is known to be one of the leading researchers on UFO phenomena. He has a video entitled Controlled Disclosure and Rebranding UFOs, Richard Dolan, The Big Picture. He has a great way of summarizing the basic protocol of the people who hold the detailed information regarding UFOs, the government and military bodies of the world. And he is right, they are trying to push UAP instead of UFO. And the reason is just as Dolan put it, the term UFO carries with it too much baggage. UAP, however, I mean, that sucks to be honest. It has no flavor. That doesn't get you excited at all. And I truly do not believe that the term UAP will catch on no matter how much they want it to be a scientific term. People are just too attached to the term UFO. See, the point is, only a certain number of people around the world have sighted UFOs. And I think that at some point, a very large number of people, if not all people, will have their very own sighting. For one, it's been prophesized, and two, it's happened before. Let me see if I can explain it this way. People wonder why, for all these years, these entities or aliens, we... No, not all UFOs are alien, but we assume a lot of them are. And now we wonder, why haven't they shown themselves to us? 
Well, maybe there isn't enough UFOs to go around. But maybe there will be. Think of it this way. If you wanted to launch a rocket into space to go to Mars or whatever planet, you wouldn't just launch an expensive rocket any day of the week, right? In fact, you would find out what was the perfect season in the year to launch, right? And then you would find out the perfect day within that season to launch a rocket with the highest probability of success. Well, not only does Earth have seasons, but the entire solar system has seasons. Then the galaxy has seasons. Are you with me so far? So wouldn't it make sense that we would be visited by certain beings during certain seasons of the solar system rather than by our clock here on Earth? Do you understand? Now, according to the Bible, unfortunately for them, this will be the last time they get to mess with us with their fake alien invasion of some sort, right? Sometimes I think that was one of the reasons for the Bible. So we don't get tricked by them again. But people will. They will fall for it. Yes, essentially we are dealing with alien beings or extraterrestrial, extra dimensional beings. But they are not really alien to us. Does that make sense? It's kind of like we know who they are already and we are very familiar with their handiwork, if you know what I mean. Now the second book I still have to go through it, but the reason I bring it up is because I also believe there is an attempt to disclose some information on UFOs. And they started by acknowledging, yes, people, we do see the UFOs in the sky. Our military sees them and has been seeing them. That's first. That's just to get you warmed up. I believe what they are trying to prep you all for is your very own sighting because it seems as our planet moves into a different part of space with the arrival of what may be a binary system, we may have arrived at a season where they show themselves again. And it won't be the government who says, okay, it's all right to come out now. No, they are going to come back presenting themselves as they always have, as gods. And people will fall for this again. But it won't be like the other time. This will be the worst. I have more to come on this, folks. Stay tuned. Keep checking the website at woodwardentertainment.com. Important updates to the sites are coming. I hope you all enjoy your holiday weekend. God bless. Have fun. Until next time, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe this weekend, folks. And be very careful and mindful of your surroundings if you are out. Take care. And I'll talk to you all soon.